What is going on? It's Andy Francis, and I'll be looking to change the momentum that this week has brought me. I don't know what the hell this week is, this weird week after Thanksgiving. I just want to get to December because it's been a dismal Monday, a bad Tuesday with NHL and Wednesday. This is not happy days. This is not Monday, Tuesday. These are not happy days, but we're going to try to turn that momentum tonight as the Bills go to Foxborough to take on the Patriots. These matchups last season brought us complete opposite ends of the spectrum type of games we had that game last year remember that when belichick like refused to throw the ball and mac jones had like two completions and five attempts whatever that was and yet the patriots still won that game and then in the playoffs you had the absolute bills massacre so which which way is it gonna go which way are we gonna swing before i decide you may as well take the first easy bet if you're a new user on BetMGM, and that is you bet any World Cup team on a money line, $10. They're about to go into the knockout stages. Team USA is playing on Saturday. You bet $10 on Team USA. If any team scores a goal in that game or any other game, BetMGM is going to credit you with $200 in free bet credits. It does not get much better than that. That's as free as it gets. You don't need some magic touchdown. You don't even need a three-pointer. You just need a goal to be scored in the World Cup, and I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. So just make sure you know the specifics about the promotion. You can find that all in the description of this video, along with the link, which will take you there. Although I'm in a mini funk, a mini three-day funk, fortunately for me, I look at the board and I see the things where I don't even have to make a decision because it goes right into some of my favorite philosophies. And yes, any given week, some of my philosophies can tank, but it's like blackjack. Go ahead. You had a nice shoe. Give me five years. We're going to see who's winning. I'm seeing a team that everybody's taking and I'm getting a home dog plus three and a half points. I really don't have to think. I don't need to see team names. Stop telling me your thing. Oh, come on, but, but, but check out the offensive line versus bottom five. Don't give me any of that. Show me everyone taking one side. Give me a home team plus three and a half points. I don't care if you make up an expansion team name. You take, you take Keanu Reeves in the replacements, whatever the hell they were called. I will take them against the Buffalo Bills. And that's what I'm going to do with the Patriots. I'm taking them plus three and a half at home. I'm sorry. That's just what I do. It's what I've done. And it's served us well. It's not just served me well. You guys have seen how this has gone for you throughout the course of this season. So give me the Patriots plus three and a half. And the last couple of primetime games when we had teams that seemed like they were going to go under, where there was the Packers, Titans, and Arizona without Kyler Murray versus the Niners, we kept going over because they were low totals and everyone was taking the under thinking they were to be these dead games and we went over. Now they've set another relatively low over, but this time you have teams where people think, oh, there's going to be points in this one. But I don't think so. I'm actually going to go under on this one. When you think about the way the Bills have been kind of struggling and Josh Allen has played way more erratically than he has in the last season or so before he got into these struggles, they needed to get, you know, two straight drives in the end to beat the the Detroit Lions. And I know, oh yeah, but the Lions won a few in a row. The Bills are supposed to be Super Bowl favorites. They haven't looked like that these last five, six weeks. And we know about that game at home last year where Belichick was... Belichick has had many games where he defended Josh Allen very well. I believe between that and then Buffalo's defense, albeit without Von Miller, which has been playing great all season, will be able to keep this total under... So give me the under on that one. And then as far as the props go, because I think it's going to be a decent defensive performance from the Patriots, I'm going to take the under on Devin Singletary rushing yards. There's a couple of different reasons. Number one, look how the Patriots run defense fared against Dalvin Cook last week. They completely shut him down. They shut Madison down. It was the passing game that killed them. And when you couple that with the fact that Devin Singletary, like he has in previous years, has seeding carries to other running backs, and most recently James Cook. And I'm actually going to tell one of these days they'll get Naheem Hines involved, right? Maybe, potentially, one of these years. But when it comes to those rushing yards between that defense of the Patriots, the way they looked last week, and then with the fact that it's been Josh Allen killing them on the ground these last couple of games and not necessarily Singletary, and the fact that he's splitting work, I'm going to take the under on Devin Singletary rushing yards. We also know about Belichick and the Patriots D. They always want to take away your favorite weapon. That's the big MO of them. Well, who's 
Josh Allen's favorite weapon. Who's Buffalo's favorite weapon? That's going to be Stephon Diggs. And I understand they struggled with Justin Jefferson last week, but almost everybody does. So if you're going to give me high totals for Stephon Diggs, who they're probably going to do everything to try to take out of the game, then I'm going to take the over on Gabe Davis, who has a very manageable number, who's going to get all the best ma matchups against the cornerbacks. I'm going to take Gabe Davis to go over on his receiving yards. And then as far as Josh Allen goes, I'm going to take the under on combined passing and rushing yards. When you look at Allen the last couple of weeks, what did he throw? Like 240 something last week, under 200 the week before that. He's airmailing a couple of these passes. He's not playing as well as he was earlier in the year. And then the way he looked in the playoffs last year, he, they've hit a little bit of a rut. So I'm going to take the under rushing plus passing because the same way we said Belichick is going to try to take away their best weapon. You know, Josh Allen on the ground kind of is their best weapon after Diggs, in my personal opinion. So give me the under on that one. And that's what I got for you. I got, I got two, two picks along with three props. It's hard to know what the hell who to bet on the Patriots. Obviously, everybody loves Ramondre Stevens. I love him too, but those totals are just too high for me. I mean, what is it? Four and a half receptions, 40 receiving yards, something like that. I can't do that, but I can take those ones that I gave you. Those are the ones I feel most comfortable with on these Thursday night. Let's let's start turning this boat around slowly. Let's let's get to the end of this week having a couple of good days to take some momentum into the weekend. And then uh, we will try to tackle everything this Sunday. All right, guys? Good luck to... No, definitely better luck to me. So good luck to you and definitely better luck to me the way these last couple nights have been going. Uh, hopefully this Thursday treats us well. I will see you before Sunday. Take it easy.